Good morning, adventurers. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do something a little bit different uh, for this Runday Monday update. As you can tell from the hot mess that's up here, please excuse that, but um, I wanted to do something a little bit differently. Like I said, I wanted to kind of do more of a vlog style to just share with you how I am preparing for this upcoming week. So it is um, Sunday, June 30th, as I am filming right now. And um, this week is going to be kind of like fast and furious pace, but it's super exciting because I can't even believe it, but like the Peachtree Road Race is on Thursday, this upcoming Thursday, July 4th um, in Atlanta, which is just insane that it's just so fast approaching. And I know that you guys have noticed that I haven't really done any kind of run day, Monday updates about like how my half marathon training is going or how the 10K training is going. And that's honestly because it's just been so crazy with work and life and all you guys understand like kind of how life hits you from multiple angles so um all that to be said though i'm super excited to tell you though that this channel is about to be incredibly consistent when it comes to updates and vlogs and all kinds of stuff so i actually sat down over the course of the last week and mapped out like the rest of the content for pretty much almost the rest of the year so between disney trips and we're going to arizona in november which is going to be super exciting and then on top of it, just like all of the different vlog style stuff that I have coming up, I wanted to share with you some of the things that we've been doing at our house, um, some of the DIY projects, and I know I've kind of digressed a little bit, but I just wanted to kind of share with you that the channel is going to be incredibly consistent when it comes to uploads, uploads here um, in the foreseeable future. So if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I would love for you to be part of the adventurer family and make sure to go ahead and give this video a thumbs up as you are watching. It just helps with the support and um, just kind of making the content more, um, I guess, engaged. So I would love for you guys to kind of follow along. Okay, so one of the things that I have been working on or will be working on today, so um, I'm just kind of starting to prepare because my mom and I are going to be staying in a hotel um, the night before the peach tree. So this is a tank top that um, I got for registering for it. This is like the... Um, the 50th anniversary so but anyways I have several different tank tops that I'm gonna try out um, over the course of the next few days like I've already worn this red and white striped tank top when I've been running and it actually works really really well um, I will say my mom and I are probably thinking about doing more of um, like a run walk on this one just because it's so incredibly hot and then I found this cute little tank top this you know the white stars with the blue let me turn out some lights on so you guys can see. Um, but I found this one at Old Navy and it's super cute. I actually might not wear this for the actual race portion. Um, I am gonna go to the expo the day before the race and I will vlog all of that for you guys too, especially for those of you that may be watching this in the future that are wanting to um, talk about or see kind of how the expo stuff goes. But all that, um, I, I might be wearing this to that. And then my mom actually purchased two different tank tops that are um, made by Nike. They're actually like running tank tops. So we'll see. Um, there's just kind of a, quite a, a few things that I'm just trying to prepare for. Um, if you guys watch, especially if you live in the South near Florida or you know Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, the temperature here just ranges. It just kind of does this a lot. So, um, the upcoming week for July 4th, it's going to be insanely hot, but right now it's calling for thunderstorms in the afternoon and total cloud cover. And I'm actually not upset by that at all. So I'm hoping that the temperatures will be a little bit more calmer during the morning when we're doing the, the Peachtree Road Race. Unfortunately, I totally forgot to submit my proof of time. So I am one of the later corrals. I think it's like Corral S, which is super far back and I think we don't actually cross the start until 8 15 in the morning so it's gonna be a little bit warm so my mom and I um we were chatting yesterday and we just said you know we're just gonna kind of take it slow we're gonna enjoy the memory that we're creating together we're not trying to PR we're not trying to do some kind of miraculous running or walking <laughs> um it's more of a really great memory for her and for me because it's the first time and we were also talking about this yesterday. It's like the first time it's just been like her and me on a trip. So we're just really, really excited to just like kind of take a little mini vacation. And it's even though it's only like not even 48 hours, but just spend some mother daughter quality time together. And of course, I will vlog the entire um, trip so you guys can kind of see just 
the whole process of going down there, staying down there, like, because we're staying about a block and a half from the start line, so that will be really neat. Um, and then we just have, like, a lot of cool things that we've talked about, so I will definitely be sharing all of that with you, so. But all that to be said, so today is going to be kind of, I, that's why I wanted to vlog it. I wanted to share with you kind of how we're preparing for the Peachtree Road Race. So I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to go try to find a couple of little 4th of July little goodies, which of course I've waited way too late to probably do that. But um, just wanted to find some cute little things that maybe we can wear or sunglasses or something like that. So it just kind of makes it a little bit more patriotic and I don't know, it just adds to the flair, I guess. Any of you run Disney um, folks out there that might be watching, you'll totally get it, because I know you guys uh, dress up in costumes for the run Disney races. And this is sort of similar. We're trying to do more of like patriotic themed, um, I don't know, attire, and then, but stuff that's like logical and reasonable. <laughs> Um, and then I've got a couple of things coming from Amazon today, so I'll definitely share that with you. I'll do a little mini Amazon haul here in just a bit. But first things first, oh my gosh. Uh, this room needs some serious love and I need to get to cleaning because I want the house to be nice and organized so that when I get back from the peach tree, we can just enjoy. If you haven't, if you've been following the vlog for a while, you can tell that we have actually rearranged um, our bedroom. So it's still kind of a work in progress and you'll see a nice little time lapse here in a second of me um, cleaning it. But um, I lost my little film space. We had to move like our TV bookshelf over here. And let me turn some lights on so you guys can see. So yeah, so we just moved everything that was on the opposite wall, we moved it here. So I lost my filming wall, which is totally fine, because what I'm gonna end up doing is making this area super cute for filming. As you can tell, it's kind of a hot mess right now, and um, we'll go into all of that in just a bit. But I just wanted to kind of share with you just a little update, because I know I might get some questions on how everything looks a little bit different since the last time you've seen it. take very long at all um I don't know if you guys have any significant others out there that just like to just pile everything so I just kind of did some quick reorganization these shelves um I had used prior um and I think that they're really cute it has you know some cute little decorative and some photos and then of course a little hint of Disney and then of course we have you know cute little stars. If this doesn't show you guys how much weight um, Travis and I have lost, let me see if I can get this to focus. But I mean, I definitely don't look like that anymore. So, and then just the cute little tchotchkes things and then a basket of his. But um, one of the things I did want to share with you is how cute is this um, quilt that we found. I found this at Costco for like 15 or $16. And I actually got it, it's a king size, and I had purchased it with the intent of having it downstairs in our bedroom or downstairs on our couch. And then when I actually um, put everything together, and brought it upstairs. It just looked really, really cute with our paint. Um, I know that the lighting in here is just really, really terrible, so it's kind of hard to tell, but um, it's just, it's one of those, I don't know, I just really, really like it, and I wish I could find another one, so I might head to Costco tomorrow, and I'll let you guys know if they have any more there, but yeah, I mean, it was worth every single penny, and it's really, really comfortable, so, and it's, uh, I believe, a down uh, quilt, so... Anyways, just wanted to share that because it's kind of a new addition to the bedroom that I really, really like. And then for those of you who might ask questions about this, this is actually from uh, Disney. I believe I got that on Shop Disney maybe a year or two ago. And I love this little throw pillow because it has like the Haunted Mansion wallpaper print on one side and then Tomb Sweet Tomb on the other. So just dependent on kind of the way our bedroom looks, I will 
change it around and then as you can see this is totally a work in progress you know we have some things that I mean I just threw that up there <laughs> um, but I am definitely gonna get rid of this circular end table we only have one it doesn't really work for that space and then I need to hang up these t-shirts these are actually shirts I got off of um, a local wholesaler because I'm gonna create some new um, Disney theme style shirts actually for our trip in August and I'll clean up this space here in just a minute Okay, so I know I touched upon it a little bit, but um, this is kind of going to be a mish, mosh, mish podge. I don't know how you want to say that, but it's going to be definitely a mixture of kind of like vlog style and then um, a little bit of like half or 10K training updates. But I just wanted to kind of share with you what we're doing to prepare for the next week because um, I'm at work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday afternoon, we had to go to Buckhead and that's when we go and check in at the expo and check into the hotel and all of that stuff. And then the race is Thursday and we, I mean, I'll come home after the race on Thursday afternoon and then it's 4th of July. So then you just want to kind of get into workout or not workout, but you want to get into like grill mode and cookout mode and enjoying time with family. And, um, so I wanted to just have everything prepared so that my work week isn't consumed with preparing and packing and all of that stuff so i'm kind of like throwing everything into um one day so um yesterday i actually worked on it quite a bit just pulling out some clothes and trying on some clothes and walking in some different style um clothing just because i'm just really nervous about the heat i still am training on a treadmill and um, while it is still very warm in portions of our home, um, like I don't turn the air conditioning on or anything like that in the mornings when I'm walking, but it's, it's like a whole nother ball game when you're going outside. So I'm a little bit nervous about it, but I'm just constantly hydrating. So that's something that has been in a huge portion of my focus this past week is just hydrating as much as I can. So, um, like I'll, I'll show you guys what I've been doing here in just a minute, but it's just been a big component of my training is just to make sure that I'm getting tons and tons and tons of water. Um, but I'm going to show you guys kind of like how we're getting the house together. You might, obviously you're going to see kind of a little bit of cleaning, clean with me stuff. So, and then here in just a little bit, we will be going shopping for some extra additions for, for the 4th of July. So it'll be super, super fun. And I hope you'll continue to follow along. So if you guys have watched a packing video with me before, you kind of know already that, you know, I kind of pull everything out and just, I, I just try to figure out what, what's going to work. And even though I'm only going to be gone for like a day and a half, not even like a full, full day, I just wanted to kind of pull everything out and just see what it all looks like. So um, I just purchased these leggings off of, they're like running leggings off of Amazon. And I will actually show you these to you um, in just a few minutes because I wanted to test it out. I thought these were gonna be more of like this color red and obviously they're more of a burgundy, but that's totally okay because that actually works really well with that shirt if I kinda wanted to be super, super patriotic looking. Um, and then I can wear this tank top with these um, black leggings. So that's something that I'm actually going to test out today and tomorrow. I'm going to do um, some outdoor running and walking and just wear both of these and see how they do. So that's why they're kind of sitting out. These are some sunglasses I actually um, also purchased off of Amazon. You guys were asking about these glasses um, in my um, the last Disney vlog that I did. I actually purchased these off of Amazon. They are fantastic. They're kind of like if you're a runner and you like the Gooder brand, but maybe not want to pay Gooder prices. Um, this is a really nice alternative. Like I like these for the parks because if I lost them, I wouldn't be super upset. So anyways, I'll link that down in the description box below for those of you that might be interested. And super nerd alert. I actually already got my pajamas out for later today. <laughs> And that's just because I know I'm going to go kind of a thousand miles an hour today. So I'm one of those weirdos that pulls everything out and just kind of likes to have it organized so that when I take a bath later today, I don't even have to go searching for pajamas. But so far, I think um, I've cleaned it up pretty nicely. It's a really good start. I'm so sorry that the lighting is bad. It's something that we are working on. And um, you guys will definitely see we're going to do over the 4th of July, like a whole overhaul of this wall and over here as well. And then we're going to do um, a really really cool project down in our laundry room. So I'm super excited for this next week. It's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming up very, very soon. So I can't even believe I'm about to show the internet this, but I wanted you guys to get a really good before picture. So this is our current status of our laundry room. As you can see, it's kind of a hodgepodge, a 
whole mess. Um, these cabinets were just installed so poorly. They're actually falling off the wall in the back a little bit. So um, this is why it's so crucial for this project to get done. This is um before I know that you guys might ask and I still need to create a label, but this is just white vinegar. Um, it's something that I use instead of like um, the downy fabric softener. This is really good for like a natural fabric fabric softener. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to end up um, removing all of these, literally pulling them out. Um, and then recycling them somehow. I still have to do some research on that. And then we're gonna end up painting everything that you see here, and then we're gonna install some shelving um, on that back wall and just make it look a lot nicer and cleaner. But as you can see, I mean, the worst part is this lamp, this light fixture right here. You can literally see it is hanging by a thread, which is like so insane. I know that just got really dark and I probably can't focus on it without turning it off, but um, it's just such a mess and it's something that I've been wanting to work on for a really, really, really long time. So anyways, just wanted to show you guys definitely the before of what we're gonna work on over the 4th of July holiday. All right, whew, rough, looking rough. Uh, so as you guys saw, we went over to Michael's as well as Target, but I don't think I filmed anything in Target because um, we were just really honestly trying to run in, run out. But let me just show you really quickly. I did find a couple of things. Um, Marshall, or sorry, Marshall's. Um, Michael's had all their stuff 60% um, off, and a lot of everything was like home decor, which you would expect from, from Michael's. But they did have a couple of things at Target that we found, and then we went over to the Dollar Tree, and I'm actually surprised at what I found at the Dollar Tree. So let me show you a little bit about what we found. Okay, so at Target, um, I actually found these super cute, like red, almost Ray-Ban-ish style um, sunglasses, which I really, really like. So I went ahead and got two pairs, one for me and for my mom. Um, I don't know if she'll wear them, but I tried them on in Target and Travis said they're super cute. So I got, I grabbed these for us because the tank tops that we're wearing, um, uh, more than likely will be like a navy blue color. And I actually had been in the market for a new sports bra. So I went ahead and grabbed this one. I thought it worked perfect because it has like 
the ombre, you know, white to blue colors. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then I grabbed some sunscreen. Even though I think it's going to be incredibly overcast, I want it to be play it safe. I don't have any that's like sport sweat proof. So I just went ahead and grabbed that at um, Target as well. And then when we went over to Dollar Tree, I will actually show you guys kind of more in the 4th of July vlog about what I found there. Because a lot of it's like home decor, which was really cute. But I grabbed one of these at Dollar Tree. It is a really cool thing that I found on Pinterest years ago um, where you fill it like half with Dawn dish soap and then half with white distilled vinegar. And then I I use this every day in the shower so and these are the dollar tree so easy dollar otherwise are like I don't know two or three dollars I think at Target or wherever else but grabbed this and then another vlogger um, I saw using these for like her kids winter stuff so I saw these at Dollar Tree and I wanted to give them a shot um, because we're gonna kind of do some spring summer cleaning on our closet probably in the next week or so so grabbed a couple of these to just give them a try and see if the, if they work I will definitely let you know but it is a very, very, very small haul, but it's still a haul. And of course, as you can see, it's very patriotic themed. I think it'll work really great for the race. All right, so last but not least, I wanted to share with you my very small Amazon haul for the Peachtree Road Race. Um, and actually, this is stuff that I am just kind of testing out to see if I enjoy it. Obviously, if you're in the running community, you're very familiar with Goo. Um, I have never tried it before, but I've heard a lot of really great things. So I wanted to give it a shot. Um, I might test it out actually tomorrow just to kind of see how my body reacts to it. But I've heard nothing but really great things about Goo. So I got a variety pack off of Amazon. So it has like chocolate, um, the tri-berry. It has uh, Jet Blackberry. And then we've got strawberry, strawberry, banana, and vanilla beans. So just wanted to kind of give that a shot. And it came with a little packet matrix thing that kind of talks to you about all of their products. And then the other thing I wanted to grab, so I know, um, or I wanted to purchase, I know that um, I'm not going to be taking a purse or a backpack or anything like that because backpacks actually are not allowed um, during the Peachtree Road Race. So I wanted to bring a small little water bottle um, that's going to be nice and insulated and so I'll put some water in that and basically you can literally just carry it around with you. So it was something I wanted to test out. Um, I know some of you guys are going to be like, how are you going to vlog and do this? And I've already tested it and it actually works fine so I can just easily just turn it around. Um, just to show you. I can easily turn it around like this way if I wanted to like shoot something really quick, like film something, um, but it's I've already tested it. So don't you worry, the vlog will not be affected uh, with one less hand. So, um, and then it has like a nice little pocket and I was gonna put like a couple packets of goo in there. Um, we are staying at a hotel, so I'm gonna put the hotel room key in here, my ID, and then, um, yeah, I don't think I need to pack much of anything else. So, uh, but I'm really, really excited. We, um, basically I'm done. You guys have seen everything that I'm packing with me. It's just a very small amount of clothes to take with me. I'm just going to pack it in this small, uh, Vera Bradley bag that I've had for a really, really long time. And then I pulled out this, um, Mickey hat that Travis actually purchased on our last Disney trip. And I'm going to take it with me. Um, I don't think I'm going to need it, but I just wanted to bring it just in case. Cause I know it's Murphy's law if you don't bring it you will need it so I kind of have everything laid out I'm just gonna pack it into a bag and I am all set just so I wanted to show you I know I mentioned it earlier about the stuff I got from Dollar Tree so I found a couple of these flag banners which were super cute so I'm actually gonna uh, hang this one outside um, on the day of the fourth because we'll probably be outside enjoying some sun and maybe some pool time and then I found this cute flag that I'm actually gonna hang on our front door I'm um, probably here in the next couple of hours or so. So I found that and then I know I didn't get to show you earlier, but this is kind of like our kitchen. So as I was saying before, we don't have like a lot of patriotic stuff. So I found these dish towels at Target, that first dish towel, the back dish towels from Grove. And then I tried to make it, you know, kind of cutesy patriotic. I still have some extra dishes to get done, but there is the um, flags, the flag banner that I found. Aren't these so cute? Dollar Tree, who would have thought? So yeah, so our kitchen is a little bit more patriotic style, way more than it ever has been in the past. And um, yeah, I really think it's super cute.
getting into the spirit of the fourth. All right, there you have it. I can't even believe that, um, well, by the time you watch this, the Peachtree Road Race is going to be tomorrow, which is so incredibly exciting. Um, happy Independence Day for those of you that are in America. Um, it's such a great day full of celebration, and so um, I'm really, really excited to embark on this adventure with my mom and cannot wait to share all of these vlogs with you. So I will definitely be filming as much as I possibly can. can. So be sure to subscribe to the channel because all of that cool content is coming very, very soon. Like I said, it's going to be very consistent from now on. And um, if you're running the Peace Tree Road Race tomorrow, I wish you the best of luck. It is so incredibly exciting. Um, it's going to be very, very hot. So make sure to stay hydrated because it's going to be super hot. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys at the finish line. So incredibly exciting. So, and you get to meet my mom. How cool. So thank you so much for tuning in. I know this video was super, super long. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share with all of your running friends. And um, yeah, look to see you. Looked forward to seeing you very soon. Bye.